How to explain the fact that many elderly people have premonitions of their own approaching death? Thank you. There are, of course, many explanations, starting with the most obvious, the fading of consciousness functions. An older person, of course, already feels slightly different in terms of his physiological parameters. He has a slightly different hormonal background. This hormonal background dulls his desires. There is no desire for achievements nor for communication. There is no desire to interact or converse with the surrounding world. It is a state of consciousness of an old person or simply an old consciousness. This is what physiology tells us, this is what biology tells us. And this explanation in general is quite clear, quite obvious. The energo-informational processes that take place within the consciousness and the state of the soul can also tell us a lot in this regard. The energo-informational processes start to wrap up, thus the experience begins to gather itself from all subtle bodies into the IM, and the IM seems to become very strong. It signals that at this moment it has become the master of consciousness, that the outside world is no longer the master. Therefore, a barrier is placed between oneself and the outside world. And this barrier is felt by one's mind as well as by the surrounding people. That is why the surrounding people can reasonably conclude that a person is ready to cross over to the next world due to the change in his behavior when it has become typically senile. That is, he does not want to communicate, he seems to quickly get tired of the surrounding reality, he does not tell others how to live in order to feel better about himself. Rather, he somewhat becomes calmer and wiser, because what he faces is inevitable. The IM determines the time when it needs to finish gathering what's necessary from the subtle bodies, to extract all the operative memory. And so, in this way, all subtle bodies start slowly wrapping up, starting from the buddhic body. At this moment, values and beliefs cease to be leading. That is, the old man already agrees with the fact that everyone has his own good and his own evil, and this does not bother him even in the slightest. Accordingly, the experience of the recent years is being gathered from the causal body. What wasn't yet gathered into the IM is now starting to get pulled in. Later, of course, this becomes mirrored in the mental body. The person becomes laconic, he is saving energy and saving power. Thereafter, it is the desires that get dulled, and the etheric body stops feeling anything at all. Next comes the physical death. Then, at the moment of departure, at the moment of leaving all subtle bodies, all subtle planes, the program starts wrapping up all the remaining subtle bodies, this time in reverse order up, from the courses to the highest informational one. Therefore, the feeling of death is generally conditioned physiologically as well as energo-informationally. For this reason, it can always be predicted by the elderly's behavior. When a young person passes away and it occurs suddenly, of course, nothing like this happens. But there are other effects, other processes and, accordingly, other results that are obtained by this soul and this consciousness that passes away suddenly for some reason whether it is a sudden death due to biological causes or tragic causes. In any case, there are other processes at work there, whereas the planned processes at the end of life are exactly as previously stated.